It's been 11 years since the sons of Josh and Susan Powell were murdered, even longer since their mother disappeared. The family was never able to recover her body, but today a victory for the parents of Susan Cox Powell. Washington State Appeals Court has reinstated a $98 million verdict a jury awarded to the Coxes back in 2020. New specialist Debbie Worthen talked with Chuck Cox today after the decision came down. And Debbie, what do you have to say? Well, Mike and Dee, he said that this is just another step in the process, and here's why. He says the Division of Health and Human Services in Washington could still try to appeal once again, but this time to the Washington State Supreme Court. He says the most frustrating thing in this whole case right now is that DHS still admits or doesn't admit they did anything wrong. I'm glad they've uh, written a decision. Chuck Cox is relieved at the decision today to reinstate the $98.5 million settlement. A jury awarded Chuck and his wife Judy the verdict over two years ago. Weeks after the trial, attorneys for the state of Washington filed a motion requesting a new trial or a reduction in damages. Cox says the state has dragged out the process and has never admitted guilt. The state and the DSHS still refuse to admit that uh, they were negligent, that they were um, incompetent in what they were doing, and that they were not following their own procedures. It's been 11 years since a caseworker took Josh Powell's sons, Brayden and Charlie, to see their father for a supervised visit when Josh murdered his sons and killed himself. Those deaths came three years after Powell's wife went missing. It's widely believed Josh killed her too. Her body has never been found. Chuck Cox says he hopes to start a foundation with the settlement money that would help victims of violent crimes. One of the things we hope to do is, is have a, develop a group of vetted attorneys who aren't in it just simply for billable hours, but are in it to actually help people for sure. Cox says when his daughter first went missing and when his grandsons were killed, he didn't know where to turn for help. He hopes the foundation will be valuable to victims when they need it. And Cox says that foundation, like the one he wants to start, would have the potential to give those victims of violent crimes or in tough custody battles a roadmap on where to go next with trusted resources.